गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन दिस इज अनदर सेशन ऑन एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टेम्परमेंट एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मैरिज पार्टनर एंड दिस कैन बी डन फ्रॉम द सेवेंथ हाउस बिकॉज सेवेंथ हाउस टॉक्स अ लॉट अबाउट योर मैरिज अबाउट योर मैरिज पार्टनर ओके एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट ओके सेवेंथ हाउस साइंस सेवेंथ हाउस लॉर्ड प्लानिट्स प्लेसड इन सेवेंथ हाउस यू नो दीज ऑल कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स एंड दे काइंड ऑफ टेल अबाउट योर मैरिज पार्टनर so in this video we will be discussing about the seventh house sign okay the seventh house sign whichever sign is placed that can tell something about your partner and and also we'll be discussing about the different planets if they are placed in the seventh house they can also tell a lot about a partner for example let's start with the placement of sun now if sun is placed in your seventh house you can expect a partner who's very uh, generous ambitious independent and of a royal nature okay uh, he might be from a higher status family or uh, from a higher social status can be very learned okay can be at times a bit dominating and arrogant okay so if you have the sun in the 7th house you can expect your partner to be something like that whereas when moon comes in the 7th house then you can expect a more gentle approach or, or a more gentle uh, partner emotional uh, very domestic type very home loving family oriented type of a, a partner uh, very good with emotions and things like that but one drawback is that this person can be a bit you know uh, waxing and waning in moods can be ups and can be you know ups and downs can be there in terms of moods now what about mars if mars is present in the 7th house then the partner can be very headstrong self assertive industrious uh, you know uh, can be a bit quarrelsome uh, will love taking a lot of initiative and things like that now if the 7th house has the planet mercury then you can expect your partner to be very intelligent bright critical uh, can be very vacillating at times but very impressive and and uh, you know can uh, can be fond of traveling now if the 7th house has the planet jupiter you can expect a very generous optimistic good natured partner who is very religious and also uh, a bit status driven uh, law abiding respectable and uh, and a good partner in general venus venus in the 7th house is brilliant it will make your partner very refined artistic gentle affectionate loyal okay and it can also make the person very skillful uh, okay and things like that it's a, it's it's really good to have venus in the 7th house in general it indicates towards a very good partner now when saturn comes in the 7th house and again the partner will be very uh, very industrious uh, very reserved okay unemotional but faithful and uh, you know uh, can be a bit selfish at times uh but also saturn present in the 7th house in general can delay your marriage as well rahu present in the 7th house is not considered very good but nevertheless the person the partner will be quite original advanced mentally can be a bit materialistic or artistic in nature okay if ketu is present here again the partner will be very uh, uh very spiritual religious and things like that now coming upon with the signs that can be present in the 7th house 7th house can have the sign aries if aries is there obviously we know the person person will be very uh, you know very direct very courageous brave things like that when taurus comes here very good it's a very good placement if the 7th house sign is taurus because it will make the partner very grounded very down to earth very affectionate very loyal things like that when gemini comes it makes the partner very versatile very brilliant if it comes cancer then moody okay then if it is leo then proud if it is virgo perfectionist if it is libra very very you know st- uh, very very sophisticated uh, when it comes to scorpio it can be very secretive if it is in the sign of sagittarius very status driven okay if it is the, in the sign of capricorn then hard working aquarius again makes it hard working and pisces will make it very very emotional so that's how the 7th house sign and the planets that are present in 7th house can tell a lot about your partner hopefully you got few more insights from this video i'll be discussing in more detail as to how to judge the partner's characteristics from a hor- horoscope i'm shutank into astrology do check my channel for more thank you take care have a great day bye bye